And pray for those who spitefully use you. So I call that the L. Let's see, how does that go? Love those who are your enemies. Bless those who curse you. I'm trying to get my letters up here. Bless those who curse you. What was the next one? I need my notes so I can remember these because I want to get this right. All right, so here you go. I'm not going to preach for my notes, so y'all don't have to worry about that. I won't stick to this. I just want to tell you just the basis of it. Because this is good stuff that comes right out of what the Lord's been doing this morning. <clears throat> Watch this. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to all those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. So I'm, I'm calling that the LBDP community. All right? <laughs> Who's in that community? <clears throat> the LBDP community. I'm gonna put a, we need to put that on our sign out front. The LBDP community. We are those who love our enemies. We are those who bless those who curse us. We are those who do good to those who, who hate us, he said. And we're those who pray for those who spitefully use us and persecute us. That's who we are. And then he said, Jesus said this, and the reason to do that, he said, that you might be sons of your Father who is in heaven. That you might be sons of your Father who is in heaven. So I'm going to take four pages of notes and give them to you, and I've got three minutes left. I just stole two minutes from you there, and you didn't realize it. Uh, it's this simple. We're supposed to be different. Who is my neighbor? One man asked Jesus. Well, who is my neighbor? He said, what am I supposed to do? And Jesus said, well, do what the Bible says. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, all your soul. Love your neighbor as yourself. And in order to justify himself, he said, but who is my neighbor? You know who your neighbor is? Your enemy. You see, the word neighbor, when Jesus said, you have heard it said, you shall love your neighbor, but hate your enemy. The word neighbor means close proximity it means to be near some of you have neighbors who are your enemies in your household some of you have neighbors who are your enemies in your church neighbors who are your enemies in your community or in your nation or at least in the world where you're at but you know what jesus said love them all love them all see your enemy can be right next door to you your enemy can be your partner in marriage what is an enemy how do you define who the enemy is that he's talking about? He told you. Those who hate you. Those who curse you. Those who despitefully use you and persecute you. Anybody got some of those close to you? <laughs> so what did he say? He said, bless them. And why did he say to bless them? He said, he said, why did he say to do good in those situations? That you might be sons of your Father who is in heaven. The word be, that you might be sons of your Father who is in heaven is present tense. It's right now. It's right here. Behold, beloved, what a manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called children of God, sons of God. To as many as received Him, to them He gave the right to become sons of God. The Bible says that the whole world groans right now, waiting for the revealing of the sons of God. God wants to show this world His great love and change the world to become like Him, but He's going to do it through us when we begin to love the way He loved. You see, you know what Jesus did? He loved His enemies. Right? He blessed those who cursed Him. That's what Jesus did. Amen? He prayed for those who spitefully used Him and persecuted Him. last thing He said on the cross, after being taken to the cross, scourged, spat upon, beaten, hung on a cross, some of His final words, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He blessed those who persecuted Him. That we might be called sons of God. When you read on down to the end of that, let me just get my note here because I want to read the last thing. Watch this. He says, 
Y'all missed a whole sermon. It was going to be good, but it's good this way. Yeah. What it says. He said, I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who pray for you, and spitefully use you and persecute you. Pray for them. Join the LBDP community. That you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for He makes His Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and He sends His rain on the just and on the unjust. You know, I, I, I don't know, there are some other scriptures that kind of sound sort of like this, and the gospel is not exactly the same thing, but I kind of grew up hearing and believing that when that scripture was quoted, for God makes it rain on the just and the unjust, and makes it uh, sunshine on the just and the unjust, I kind of grew up, for whatever the reason, my thinking was that people were saying that good comes to good people, and bad comes to bad people, and good comes to, to bad people, and bad comes to bad people, and that... God pours out His rain on the wicked. And He pours out good. And, but really what He's saying here, they're, they're both good. Good is good. Rain is good and sun is good. Without either one of those, you're going to have a problem. Either a flood or a drought. And God, it says that we are to do these things that we might be called sons of God, sons of our Father who is in heaven, so that we can be like Him. And then He said that. Jesus said, why? He said, look, God makes the sun shine on the bad people and He sends rain to the bad people. He blesses the bad people. So how much more should we bless them? If we want to be like Him. If we want to be His Son, we need to do what He did. For if you love those who, if, for if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Everybody say reward. What is the reward he's talking about? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brethren only, what you do? And if you greet your brother only, what do you do more than others? Do not even the tax collectors do the same thing? And so, here's what he said. If we do, if we love, if we act like everybody else does in the world, what reward do we have? Why did he say what reward do we have? Well, he's talking about gaining rewards in heaven here. What is the reward he's talking about? You go back up in context. You back up a couple of verses. And it is that we might be sons of God in heaven. That's the reward. That you get to be and I get to be His Son. What happens when you are the Son? You become the heir. As the Scripture says, of all good things. When we love like He loves, when we act like He acts, when we bless like He blesses, when we pray like He prays, when we do what He does, then His blessings will fall on the earth around us and He'll bless us in return as well. And thank you, Scott. It's time to take the offering. Amen. Praise the Lord. So if you guys will bring the plates up at this time, I just want to encourage you. Join the LBDP community today lbdp community today i might preach that to you later anyway just because